Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, this is a new week. And listen, I know God has a special plan for you this week. And He is going to see to it that He leads you into the purpose and plan that He has already predestined for your life. Praise God. Let me tell you this. God's plan for your life was finished even before the world began. Now, you are here to carry out the things that have been written concerning you. And that's why God has released these angels to help you. You have angels to help you. You may not know it, but I'm telling you the truth. And my prayer for you today, that even this week, you will begin to experience literally the activities of angels in your life. You will begin to experience things that, you know, how did that happen? And then you will remember that he said that angels are ministering spirits sent forth to minister to those who shall be heirs of salvation. Praise God. I pray that be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. Beginning from this week, I pray that you will have tangible testimonies of the activities of angels in your life. It's, it's beautiful. Praise God. Not because that's how God ordained it. Now, last, we've been talking about dealing with false teachings and, and, and I shared with you how that's a big problem in the body of Christ. That's a big problem in the church. The false teacher is more dangerous than a false prophet. Oh yeah. You see, because a prophet will prophesy if his word comes to pass, fine. If his word doesn't come to pass, you have every reason to doubt him you know, and doubt his, his, his hearing ability. But you see, a teacher is the one who your, your whole life, if you're not careful, is going to rest or sit on the things that he has taught you. Now, if it is wrong, then think about it. Everything you've built your life on is false. And there are lots and lots and lots of people like that. And it's a, it's a pity. You, you see? And then someone asks the question about why would God allow that to happen? No. Why did you allow that to happen? So, well, we didn't know. Hey, hey. The scriptures have been given to us. Now listen to this. The only way you can deal with false teachings. You need to understand this. I'm going to tell you now. The only way you can deal with false teaching or false teachers is to get connected with the Holy Spirit yourself. We can't say, okay, we're, we're, we're setting a, 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 a rule to know you can't do that. To know who's a false teacher is and who's a... You, you can't do that. See, because God's ways are past finding. So I can't tell. For, for, I mean, I can't really tell. Except someone teaches something or someone does something and I can tell you that thing is wrong but it's not in my place to tell you that this person is a false person or a false teacher except where consistently they are going against the name of Jesus then I can tell you beware of that person but even that see God God's ways are just past finding that's why Jesus taught us you know when you read the scriptures remember one time they came to Jesus and they said Hey, master, we saw someone casting out devil in your name. And we forbade him because he was not one of us. Now, what was the response of Jesus? He said, leave him. Why? Jesus, we know before we went out to cast out devil, you gave us power. Did you secretly give power to some people outside that we don't know about? He said, that, 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 I'm sure that's what was on their mind. Because we stopped him because he was not one of us. That means he didn't get the power from you. But he was doing it in your name. And what was the response of Jesus? He said, leave them because there is no one who does a miracle in my name that will most likely speak evil of me. And Jesus said, leave them alone. So you see, we can't go out there and say, this person is a false teacher. I will carry placards. Hey, you must stop preaching. You must stop teaching. No. Oh, no. I remember one time the Lord spoke to me. I was praying concerning a situation like this because I, I watched something online and it, it troubled my heart so much. And I began to ask the Lord, I said, Lord, why would you let this happen? How, how, why, would, why, would just, why would you allow these things to continue? 
And then the word of the Lord came to me. And it came so direct, you know. And he said, listen, the people that are deceiving and the people that are being deceived are one. I didn't get it at first. But the more I meditated on it, the Holy Spirit began to bring understanding to me. I said, oh, 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 oh. So you see, the problem is not the false teacher. The problem is you. Who's listening to a false teacher? Praise God. <laughs> you can only defend yourself. You can't defend another person. You can only advise, oh, dude, check out this guy. Well, it's their choice. But why in the first place would you be comfortable sitting down and hearing junk? See, so that's the problem. The problem is you. The reason is, God have given us everything we need. And God so organized the life of Christ so much so that you don't need any man. Praise God. I'm telling you the truth. Now, so this week, I'm going to be sharing with you on how to understand the voice of the Lord, how to understand the voice of the Holy Spirit. This thing, that is the only way you can deal with false teachings. I'm telling you. Because sometimes... Even when people come to say, oh, we're dealing with something that is false, and then they bring another false to deal with the first false. Why? You see, because they try to deal with these things from the place of their mind. But that's not how it is supposed to be. Praise God. Listen, this week is going to be so exciting. So get ready. Praise God. Because I'm going to stop here. Have a beautiful day today. Bye-bye.